Hey guys, gals, welcome back to the event channel, event vlog. Today, I have an exciting project. We're gonna be building this circle wedding arch. Let's get started. So we have a piece of plywood here. Wow, it's sunny out there, but it is cold. Sunny, but cold. And we're just gonna use these things, which um, I'll look in the description. And they're just like little mosaics. You put them together, and I'll show you here in a second. And you can make the shape of what you wanna cut. In this case, uh, the mosaics are great because um, when there are curves, I'll give you a piece here. Uh, you see there's a slight curve there for the for the circle and it's hard to just uh, you know take a straight edge and and make a mark when there are curves these little mosaics are a great way of um transferring the shape of what you want to cut onto a big piece of plywood like we have here so for our compact arches these are our our base pieces now some of the arches they're slightly different like you'll see here but essentially use these uh printable you'll have to scissor them out afterwards mosaics uh, uh templates to basically just slap it onto the piece of plywood uh, make sure you find a good spot uh this is the second piece for it kind of line it up like that now you'll want to take this and do the same here. You can either print out two or do it like uh, step by step. And then just trace it out with a pencil, kind of like that. When you're done the full thing, move that away. You'll have the pattern and then just jigsaw it out and you're done. I actually have a ton of these base pieces. I was experimenting with making them by plethora. So that's one thing I don't need to make for the circle arch. Uh, most of the base pieces are actually interchangeable between the arches. So technically, if say you're building a bunch of these, you won't need maybe all the base pieces unless all your arches are rented out if you're renting them out. Anyway, so let's get to it. Super simple. Uh, over here, these will be the body pieces for the circle arch. And these are gonna be the uh, back connection pieces, which will connect the body pieces together. And the reason this is actually in multiple pieces, A, these ones are multiple pieces because um, each one of these represents a piece of paper that you could easily print out from your home computer. And also they're in pieces because this is the compact archway design. So we have a few compact archways, so you can take them apart, carry them easily, throw them into your sedan, and transport them to the venue and then uh, set them up at the venue. If you have the right hardware, you don't even need any tools for setup. Uh, but uh, we also have dedicated large arches, which are in some of my previous videos that are just one piece, but they're pretty long, right? They're one piece, they're hard to transport. You'll need a truck or trailer or van or something of that sort to transport them. So these are the compact archways which we're building. And let me quickly show you how to basically do this. It's super simple. Just, oh, uh, we want to line it up in a proper place. That's where we're not wasting wood. And we've got to also check how many of these connection pieces we need. So I'm just going to do one just so you see. Um, but we'll want a, a few of these connection pieces for sure. Now the nice thing with the connection pieces is that um, the body pieces, you want them to be as exact as possible while the connection pieces, um, there's room for error. And there you have it. Now what I'm actually gonna do to save myself time is I'm gonna cut one out. I'm gonna take it, uh, the actual piece of wood, put it on top and then trace it out. If you want more of these pieces, just stick it on, trace it. We'll trace it out. We'll show you here in a second. Uh, connection pieces 
for the cir compact circle archway. Uh, these will go at the back so you won't even be able to see them. But remember, when you're cutting out plywood, a couple tips here. Uh, first of all, uh, there's going to be a good side and a bad side. Both potentially for the plywood. This one is uh, good on both sides, but on your pieces. So uh, the underside is going to be clean. Okay, it's going to be a clean cut. The top side of the jigsaw, it's going to be a rough cut. So the front of the archway should always be kind of the nicer side. Furthermore, if you're cutting, try to cut with the grain uh, lengthwise. And that's just going to create a smoother cut. It's going to be easier. Uh, highly recommend that. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the body pieces, which are basically like this, but much bigger and longer. So as you can see, the body pieces are much larger. And essentially, I put them together with just some tape that I had lying around, which in this case was duct tape. And I traced it out using this kind of paper. And as you can see, that's the traced pattern. The circle arch is quite easy essentially. So I don't know if you can get a good angle, but you essentially take two of these pieces. Here, let, let's change the angle around here. You take two of these body pieces and you start sticking them together. See, I have it like here. So this is the, um, essentially this is the, the nice side of the circle arch. So what we wanna do is flip it around because that's where we're going to put the joining pieces. <clears throat> and I'll show you how are we going to make it. So first of all, I'm going to do this in, with, with kind of one hand. But essentially you take a joining piece and what we're going to do, let me zoom out, is kind of put it down like that at every joint of the circle arch. Again, there's six joining pieces and six bodies pieces in this case for this arch. And essentially you could just use screws if for example, you don't have the proper hardware. At this point, you can essentially just lay this out in a big circle or two at a time and just put maybe four or six screws in there. Make sure of course the screws do not puncture to the other end onto the good side. But I mean, that's essentially an easy thing you can do. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use insert nuts and bolts. And that's gonna create a stronger fit and it's also gonna create a tool-less way of taking this apart and putting it back together. Well, what I'm gonna do is just drill a pilot hole. And I'm kind of filming with one hand. So let me see if I can do this with one hand. <laughs> So it went through to the other side and there's not much, but that's kind of the positioning and I know it's going to line up there. And now what I'm going to do is put one of these insert nuts here. So these are insert nuts. It's not going to go all the way. And you can see here, it has like an Allen key top and then the rest is like threaded. So you'll see, over here, I'm gonna drill out a larger hole. Oh, and that's deep enough. Again, you don't wanna go all the way through. And essentially, this gets placed in there. I grab a, oops, an Allen key. And let's see if I can do this again with one hand. It's a little uh, shadow over there. Let's see if we can get away from the shadow. And essentially we just... And this is really, really neat. This... Uh, now, this piece of hardware, because we can now bolt this through 
without it actually going through. <laughs> Sorry, uh, you have no idea how challenging this is with one hand. And now you want to put it deep enough so it's flush. So <clears throat> this essentially goes like that, but we first need a hole through there that is essentially the, the, the size of this uh, uh, bolt. So let's do that. Off camera, I quickly drilled a bigger hole. And now simply I'm gonna take my bolt, slide it in, and then match it up to the nut underneath. And voila. Now this is a great part because you wanna have the one nut in there. And I can't do this one with one hand, so I'm gonna put this up on the tripod. You wanna now align this, somehow hold this tight to the next body piece, and then go ahead and drill the other hole, the other hole, the other hole, and all the way through until it touches, make some sort of indentation on the body piece underneath, and then we'll move this away, put in the nuts. Uh, these holes will now already be drilled, and then we'll just put the bolts through. So this is really where the magic happens. What you want to do is essentially kind of put this together. And sorry, I'm kind of crouching so that you can see this. And you want this to be like tight. One body piece tight against the next. That way the joint is as small as possible. So you'll see when we flip that around, you'll see that the joint is relatively small, but that's the idea, as tight as possible. Oh, did I lose some? I might have lost a little bit. Ah, there we go. And there you have it. So now, if I move this out of the way, you'll see that there are holes in here. Now that bit is too narrow for the insert nut. So I just wanna quickly switch it out. And remember, this bolt doesn't go all the way through. It just goes deep enough to account for the length of this insert nut. Perfect. Now what I want to do is take these insert nuts and insert them. Now these are a little tricky. You definitely need some pressure on this to kind of get them started. They're actually really tightly in there. Pressure on these insert nuts as I work on them um, so that the kind of top layers of the plywood don't lift up and crack and, and drive that insert nut back up. There you go. So it's almost perfectly flush you just put it back like that this goes back over top they're really neat you can order them online they have the actual kind of hand screw wing on top and you can just thread them in if you want you can take a wrench and make it a bit tighter well, that's it. That's how you essentially, let me see if I can take this, start joining up the circle arch pieces. So you can see I am going around each piece by piece 
until it joins up to make a full circle. I'll show you the front in a second. I just prop this up. Um, let's, let's take a look at the back. So as I mentioned before, all it really is are body pieces, connection pieces, and the base or foot pieces. And, and that's really just self-explanatory. It just sticks in there and the arch is held up. Now, right now there is no bolts going through there into the body of the circle arch. Uh, that's the last thing. I didn't do it right now. It is late, so I'm gonna head home before uh, my wife uh, uh, divorces me. But there she be. And as you can see, it's just like that. You can tighten these or loosen these by hand on site, easy transportation. And take a look at the front here. That is the front, the front, the front of the circle arch. How do you like it? I think it looks great. Uh, what you can do, I think in the future, and we will eventually provide some of these designs once we make them, once we find them. Some sort of pattern, maybe make this a bit thicker and then maybe some sort of leaf pattern or something, some sort of flower pattern to really make it elegant, kind of like a premium arch. But some people like the basic ones. If you throw some flowers on this, it would look fantastic. And you know what I mean by flowers, like some sort of puff turf grass or something. Uh, uh, there are people that can take something very plain like this, but elegant, the circle's always elegant, and add some floral decor, and it just makes it beautiful. So I think even this regular arch has a lot of potential. And I do hope that you like this. Uh, you can stain it. Again, you can decorate it. Uh, and this is the compact version. You can certainly make this out of solid wood. It would be far more sturdy. But this will, uh, unless it's a very windy day, this will be just fine out there um, on the field. And maybe we'll give it a test one day when it's, uh, when it's windy. But anyways, hope you enjoyed that build. Uh, and uh, good luck in your build if you're planning on something like this for this summer as well. Take it easy. We'll see you later. Consider subscribing.